Here we're given a situation with a 15 gallon gas tank and the cost to fill that tank at 3.29 G where C is the output and G is the input. So input is in gallons of gas, the output C is in dollars. So our first task is to draw a good graph of the function using the grid here. I'm going to do that and it's going to pop up on the screen here in a second. So I recommend that you stop the video and draw a good graph, compare it with the one that you see, and then make any changes as needed. So I use my graphing calculator to help me with this one. I go to y equals, clear out what's there, and enter 3.29x instead of g. I'm going to go to my window and I'm going to limit my window to my possible inputs for gallons of gas, which in this case would be 0 to 15 because I'm told that my tank is 15 gallons in size. And so then my outputs are going to be limited as well. If I put in 0 gallons, that's going to be 0 cost. And I'll go up to, um, I don't know, we'll just say 50, and hopefully that'll be big enough. So let's check graph. And so the graph gives us this kind of a shape. But what I want to show over here is actually a really good graph. And so what I've done is I've labeled my tick marks to go up to 15 in even increments on the horizontal. I've labeled the horizontal as gallons in G. G is my variable. Labeled the vertical. Labeled the tick marks, again, equidistant apart. And then I've drawn the graph. I've identified the starting and the ending point here by using the table. And that's actually coming to us from part B of this problem. So let's take a look here. I'm a little bit too low there. I don't have any negatives, but at zero, I get zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that in the space here, even though I have it above. And it asks me to use both ordered pair and function notation. So that would be C of zero equals zero. That's the first one. Then if I go on up to my maximum, which is 15, I can go ahead and just use my arrow keys to get there since it's not that far. I see I'm going to have the ordered pair 15 comma $49.35. So my function notation would be C of 15 equals 49.35. So the input quantity is gallons of gas. And the smallest and largest possible input quantities, we've kind of already talked about that. It's limited by the size of our gas tank. But our gallons is going to have to be bigger than or equal to 0, because technically I could use 0, and less than or equal to 15. If I translate that to interval notation, that would be 0 to 15. Notice this is not the same as an ordered pair. This is on the horizontal axis. These are input values only. The output quantity is the cost in dollars. We kind of have already looked at that. The smallest and largest output quantities, well, the output ranges from 0 all the way up to, that's going to be C of G there, all the way up to $49.35. That's my maximum when my input is 15. So if I want to use interval notation there, it's 0 to 49.35. And this is my practical range, limited by the size of my gas tank. Practical domain, also limited by the size of my tank.